Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the Pear Deck extension on Google Slides um, while you're doing a Google Meet. So here I am in a Google Meet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to present now and I'm going to present my entire screen so my students can see what's on my screen. And then I'm going to tell my students to go to the um, student portal and click on Pear Deck. Meanwhile, while they're doing that, I'm going to open my Google slide presentation that I have, and I'm going to open it as a Pear Deck. And I'm going to present the lesson. We're going to do an instructor pace activity. I can show you at another time how to do a student paced one. I've used those as well for this remote work uh, learning and it works really well. So here is a code will pop up on my screen, just like, um, just like a Kahoot would. So here's the code. I'm going to show you in here what it would look like for a student. So my student here has gone to the um, student portal, has picked Pear Deck, and now all they have to do is enter the code, just like a Kahoot. And this is what they're going to see. They're going to get a little check-in question. And then they're going to come to the first slide. So the first slide says, draw a picture to say hi. So I'm lucky. I do have a touch screen. They can also use text. Um, they could type something, they can draw lines, whatever they can. So this is what the student is seeing. They can't advance to the next slide until you do because the student it's on um, instructor based. So back to what I'm seeing though, is, oops, let's just go right here. So I can tell that one student has joined and I'm going to tell my students when I think they should be on one tab, the Pear Deck tab, and then other times I'm going to tell them to go back to the Meet tab. So now that I've shown them this slide, I can show them the responses. You can lock their screen so they can stop drawing. And I, at this point, I would tell the students, okay, go to the Google Meet tab so you can see everybody else's drawing. So the kids would navigate back to the meet and they'd be able to see the tab. In this um, presentation style, you can show them one by one. I only have one student to show you. Or you could do a grid layout and you can see a whole bunch at once. Or a really fun one, the kids really like it, is when you overlay all of them together and it turns into a big giant mess. So once you've showed them, you can unlock their screens and hide the responses, and then you can advance to the next slide. Um, and then I would say, okay, now just go back to your Pear Deck slide and where you can type. So this one is a typing slide, so the students can type what is filling their bucket. And then whatever is your draining and then going back um, to where we were I can show those responses so I can see this is my students response and that's basically how you work um, Pear Deck so there's a lots of really fun um, types of responses so this one is a typing one um, the next one is another typing one um, and then this one, they can type or draw on it, recommend a good movie. You can, these are all ready-made um, exemplars, like right in the application. Uh, or you can make your own. Like I made this one by myself. And this one's fun because it's a draggable one. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here, my student gets to choose. And then you can see it in the teacher one, especially these ones are really effective when you overlay everybody's response. I hope that helps. At the very end, um, you press end, you can you name it something.
and it'll save it and it'll publish all your takeaways right in your Google Drive. So you can actually use it as for assessment if you put in math questions and stuff like that. So I hope that helps guys. Um, I find using a Pear Deck during a Google Meet really helps facilitate the, the, um, the conversation because I do find my kids are kind of funny about talking in the Google Meet. Sometimes they're really quiet or sometimes they're just talking all over each other and it does help to have some sort of framework. Hope that helps.